Oh, good evening. Thank you for having me. That's a great pleasure. Now, can you explain to my listeners what are telomeres? Telomeres are things, they're really small things inside our cells. They're the very tips of our chromosomes. Our, you know, our chromosomes are where all of our genes are. They give us our hair color, eye color, stuff like that. But the very tips of our chromosomes are called the telomeres. It's kind of like a shoelace. If you think about it, it's, it's the caps on your shoelaces that are equivalent to the uh, telomeres on your chromosomes. So how, how do these telomeres reverse aging or affecting the telomeres reverse aging? Well, first, the telomeres shorten as you age, and the shortening seems to have an effect on gene expression of various genes on the chromosomes. It's not totally understood how that happens, but we were able to show 20 years ago that we, if we lengthen the telomeres, that gene expression pattern reverses to a young uh, expression pattern. Uh, and we don't know how, but at least we knew that it did. And so, so we, we did that a long time ago by using gene therapy techniques, which really can't be used for humans. Ever since then, we've been trying to develop chemicals or natural products that will help cause our cells to start producing its own elements to lengthen the telomeres. And, that element is called, it's an enzyme called telomerase. That's, uh, we have a gene for it, it's just not turned on, and we're looking for things that will cause our cells to start producing telomerase to lengthen the telomeres. Right, so you've discovered a compound that does in fact affect telomerase. Uh, how did you discover the compound, what is it? Oh, well, I'll tell you, it was years and years of just random drug screening at first. We were. Uh, uh, we, we must have tested 300,000 different chemicals at random uh, just looking for anything that, that uh, stimulated cells to start producing telomerase. Uh, we found the very first one in 2007, and it was the 57,684th chemical that we tested. That, that just opened the door to a lot of stuff because now we had a positive control. And so further screening was much simplified, much faster, and uh, at about... 314,000, it was actually 314,818, we found the chemical that is actually in uh, uh, the products that we're talking about today. Right, okay, now the, the chemical is, it was from what? I mean, m most things come from something in nature. So for example, I know there is one telomere length called TA65 that comes from astragalus. So what, what, where does your compound come from? Yeah, uh, well, first of all, let me say that I also played a role in developing TA65, and I also did the clinical studies on TA65 that show that it works. But uh, uh, this is actually a synthetic chemical. Our yeah. efforts to do natural products have, have you know, been successful at getting things that stimulate telomerase in human cells, but not to the levels that we really need to see some really promising things. Uh, so the synthetic chemical, actually the synthetic chemical is, in the, in the test that we've done has, has been shown to be much safer than most natural products. So that's really good. Uh, but the, uh, uh, <clears throat> it's a synthetic chemical. Okay. So what, what trials have been performed on this chemical? And can, can you tell us a bit about the safety data with them? Well, uh, it was done at a company called Avich. 